Hello there. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of not only keeping you safe, but also healthy at work. Many of us face some kind of personal health risks that can affect how we work and in turn affect our health and safety. Let's take a look at some examples. Rahim is one of the longest serving members of the company. However, H is catching up with him and he has difficulty reading the tiny text on the inventory list and labels on the cartons. So, we looked into ways that can help Rahim out with his work. Goodbye handwritten checklist and tiny carton labels, and hello barcode reader. We also didn't want to make old Rahim overly tired climbing up and down the ladders. So, we used our company's reach truck to help him. Hmm, what's that smell? I smell cigarettes. This is Roger. He really needs to quit his smoking habit. His smoking not only affects his health, bringing about breathing difficulties, but also affects his ability to do his job safely. That's why we encouraged him and other smokers to quit smoking and seek help. Melanie is a very busy lady and constantly rushes around the office for meetings. The problem is, Melanie is overweight and walking, especially up and down stairs, causes pain from the excessive pressure on her joints. Being overweight is no laughing matter. It can lead to serious health conditions and accidents. Today, statistics show that about 4 in 10 adults in Singapore are overweight, and these numbers keep rising every year. To help Melanie and all of us, we introduced healthier food options in our pantry. But that's not all. We also encouraged everyone to get fit and healthy together by exercising more. Remember, your health affects both your safety and your productivity. So what are you waiting for? Hey guys, let's take a picture together. Smile! <laughs> <laughs>